How the hell are you still so hot popular? You have been dead for like five years. Why are you so popular? Let's talk about Ace Guy, because I am really confused. Like, I've always found it mind-boggling that a character like Shanks, who everybody loves, isn't in the top ten, but Ace is. I'm like, I get Ace is awesome, I love Ace. But, like, I also love Haruzen from Naruto. I wouldn't put Haruzen in my top ten. I don't think many people would would, would see Haruzen in the top ten Naruto most popular characters. Like, what is it about Ace? Haruzen is the third Okage, by the way, who died, like, ten years ago. The question I want to run by you guys is, why, like, why is Ace, who have been dead for so long, popular? But if we're going to talk about that, first we need to talk about Ace as a character. So, uh, just brief mention, Ace was introduced in One Piece Manga Chapter 154 and Episode 91 in a small cameo wearing a black coat and a black hat instead of his standard orange hat. We knew, like, nothing about him. In fact, many people most likely assumed back then that he was a bad guy. The Gwen introduced then... This, all that he said was, where is Monkey D. Luffy? Like, all we knew, we didn't know who he was. We just had some kind of connection to Luffy. That's all we knew. Some people assumed he was a bad guy. But so, uh, we don't see him again until we get introductory scene in Alabasta. Which is probably my favorite introductory scene in, in the anime. I know, it's been a while since I read that manga chapter, but in the anime, Luffy's sitting in a bar, eating. And Ace is in the bar. Like, it, it totally aced in Luffy. It fits their characters so much to be too busy eating and sleeping to notice that their brother they haven't seen in three years and in the same room as them. Like, mind you, they're brothers that they love, by the way. But so, uh, it isn't until Luffy slams into Ace while being chased by Smoker that everybody realizes something is wrong. And there's this moment where everybody kind of just like, where Ace is not unconscious, I believe, briefly. And everybody in the bar was like, dude, that's the white beard pirate, dude. What the hell did you do? That's the end of the white beard pirate. They'll be like, give me food. He eats some food, smoker comes in, they get knocked out of the room. Ace eventually gets up from where he was, and he sees, um, after smoker panics a little bit, he uh, gets up, he sees Luffy fighting, he's like, hey, look, it's Luffy! And they end up meeting up. They, you know, they, they run off from the ring, they do like the handshake on the barrel. Ace talks about how he's a member of the Whitebeard Pirate, which explains, which actually at the moment doesn't really explain anything. Because we at this point in the story don't really know what the Whitebeard Pirates are. Now at this point, we've gotten it. They're a big deal. At this point, we understand that the Whitebeard Pirates are a big deal. We get that at this point. Oh, sorry about that, Band-Aid. No, but, um, at this point, we, that's all we really know about them. Like, e even Zoro, who is, in, in the anime, there was a scene when Zoro saw Ace previously, and he was like, Whitebeard. That's the Whitebeard Jolly, oh god. Like, Zoro doesn't really get, like, nervous, but kind of like, what is a Whitebeard pirate doing here? I'm not screwing with the Whitebeard pirate. Let's avoid that. No, but, um, Eventually, Smoker catches up to them. Luffy explains to the crew that Ace is his brother. And, a and Ace is like, Luffy, I've got this. And, and Nami says to Luffy, how could you just leave your own brother with Smoker? And Luffy's like, Ace, 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 Ace got this. He's like, well, Nami, Ace got and Ace. You know what's okay? Perspective here. Well, look back at this point in the theory. Smoker was a Logia. There was no known way to hurt Logia at this point. Logia were invincible. So when Ace just showed up, I mean, this is a guy that was manhandling Luffy on Punk Hazard. Not Punk Hazard, uh, Logtown, in Logtown. He was manhandling him, like, kicking his ass. Luffy couldn't, Luffy didn't land one hit on Smoker that arc. The entire arc, Luffy was running from Smoker. And eventually, and Ace just showed up, and he just, like, fire fit. He annihilated them. He gets the Nova crew. Ace is very laid back. He's a lot like Luffy. He has a very I don't give up 
shit, essentially he doesn't give a shit personality, but he also is very polite, he's very intelligent, okay, Aiden is very intelligent, but compared to Luffy, Aiden's a damn genius, but then again, a five-year-old is pretty, probably smarter than Luffy. The point is, is that Ace, um, he gets along with the whole crew, they all like him, and uh, then the uh, Galleon, the Galleon ships, they show up, and Ace is just, because there's like multiple galleon shaft from Baroque War. And it's just, he just, he's just like, I've got this kid. And Zoro actually said, I want to see what the white beard pirates are capable of. And just into the air, Fire Fist takes out all the shit. Must draw hat, everyone besides Luffy, even Zoro's like, What the hell is this power? Is this a white beard? Is this the white beard pirate? Like, and this is what Ace is, a magic white beard. Back when the white beard hype started. But so he then explained that a member of the white beard pirate known as Blackbeard, or Marshall DTs, had killed a man named Stash. And he's hunting Stash down. He gives Luffy a beavery guard with his name on it, and we don't see him again for like 300 to like 200 after. In the anime, he stayed with them for a while in a the desert. Which was nice, but we're not going to talk about that because it's not canon. I'm a canon tard. Bring it at me, filler fans. Bring it at me, non-canon fans. All the movies are so good. Screw you. Canon. Alright, moving on. Let's talk about how cringy I am. No, no, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll stop being cringy now. <laughs> but, um... So, the next time we see Ace is actually after any lobby. He has arrived on an island. I it's like Barsulamu Island. I forgot the name of the island. But he's on an island and he's fighting Teach. He's fighting Blackbeard. And it is an awesome fight, don't get me wrong. It does leave the question whether or not Ace has hockey. This is my stance on Ace with hockey. I think he know he definitely knows about hockey. I refuse to believe he doesn't know hockey exists. And I do think he has the ability to use it. Ah, uh, my head can't infer it, and he sucks at it. That is be oh, but, but I refuse to know to to, to think a hey, couldn't use hockey in the slightest because I mean he's a member of the White Bear Pirate. He's the second division commander of the White Bear Pirate. Yeah, I forgot to mention that. Ace is the second in command. He was commander of the second division of the White Bear Pirates. Now, division commanders have nothing to do with power. They don't. I mean, no, it's not true. They're all really strong, but Oda had come out and said they're not ranked in terms of power. Like, Marco, in my opinion, is probably number one. But Marco is also, like, kind of like the first mate kind of figure from what I gathered from that arc. But, and he's a new captain, I mean, he, he clearly the strongest, but I mean, Ace is not necessarily, necessarily the second strongest member, the third strongest member of the White Beard Pirate, when he's commanding the second division. Because, by that, because by that, the law that some people have been used for that is White Beard number one, Marco number two, Ace number three. I feel like the monster trio of the White Beard Pirate. No. That's stupid. I don't like that. I'm sorry. I, 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 I can't accept that logic. I do believe Ace had hockey. My headcanon explanation for that is that he sucks at it. This is where we get into the problem with Ace. He fights Blackbeard because Blackbeard goes the ulti to after Luffy. Black Ace is like, okay, now, at first it's kind of like, he's like, join my crew, we're going to destroy that Luffy. He's like, oh, now I really need to kill you, bitch. Like, it, it's like, before it was like, I already hate you. Now you want to hurt my brother, my little brother? Oh, I'm killing you now. So he fights them, him and Teeth, him and Teeth fight, Ace loses. He displayed awesome ability in that fight. His, uh, Flame Emperor is so badass. That's that thing, I spam, I spam that in Burning Blood. I spam Flame Emperor. Whenever my enemy get near me, I go, Flame Emperor! Get them caught in me attack, and I'm like, oh, that's a cool attack! So then we don't see Ace for another couple hundred chapters. Then a thriller bark, the beavery card that Luffy starts to burn. Luffy is told what it means that Ace is in danger. 
and his life force is fading. Luffy said that doesn't matter, Ace is fine. Then we find out Ace is going to be executed. And again, the people, I think the reason people love Ace. Ace loves Luffy so much. He's like, I don't, my, I don't care if I die. He's like, but Luffy did just get Luffy out of this prison. And when he finds out like, Luffy's an impel now, he freaks out. He, I mean, most men in one week would be like a maid with meeting Hancock and her beauty. And, uh, he doesn't even question like, why Luffy knows the Pirate Emperor. He's fine with it. He's just like, yo, Luffy has to be able to get Luffy out of this prison. He breaks down crying at Marine for but he doesn't want anybody to die because of him. And he just, he's not an awesome character. Um, he had a, let's check him, I have the one big wiki he pulled up in front of me. Um, he also obviously ate the flame, flame throat, or the Mar Marino me. He died in age 20. His birthday is January 1st. And his bounty was 550 million. So Luffy is still behind him a little bit. But Sabo, who bounty was recently revealed, let me go check. What was Sabo bounty? It was like just revealed. Uh, six hundred and two million. Six hundred and two million. I probably love a video coming out on uh Sabo bounty in a bit. My opinion on that, maybe I'm not sure, but that's off topic. But the point is, is that Ace had a real behind bounty. He was a Member of the White Bear Pirates, obviously, and uh, he died saving Luffy, of course. Like, he does have a brief fight with Alkiji and Marine Boar, which is really, really awesome. Him and Alkiji throw hands. <laughs> really good fight. But I mean, besides for the fight between Ace and Alkiji, I don't have much else to say on this character. I mean, I really like Ace. And I have to do a video on whether or not the death of Ace was necessary, which I will link on screen at the end of the video, or I'll probably I'll put like a card somewhere, I don't know. There'll be a link to it somewhere. But um, this is the point. Ace didn't really do much. And we didn't even get his backstory until after he died, which, in my opinion, probably hurts his death. Because I feel like his death would... Wasn't really sad because we were sad. I mean, Ace was great. I mean, I love Ace. Ace is an amazing character. But you sit down and you look at Ace and you're kind of just like, Hey, buddy. Like, you were barely in the story. Like, I feel like it could have been a lot better. Like, I feel like whatever would have been great writing if Ace would travel with Luffy to Jaya. Or if Ace and Luffy met on Jaya. And they tag teams against Blackbeard and he got away. And Ace pursued, followed after him and got Kester later. And Luffy, you know, selfishly decided to go on his own adventure. He's like, well, Ace, you got this, right? Yeah, I'm gonna go to Sky Island. You can go out there, Blackbeard. See you later. Good luck. And it would have been one of those, if I had only gone with Ace, he would have survived or something. That's just a brief idea, not very thought out. Just thought that on the spot as I was recording this 13 minute, 14 minute now video. But, um, Ace did need to die, I will say. It, I, I think. But uh, I, feel, I feel like the story could have still gone this way if he hadn't died. Like, it isn't. I mean, like, Luffy, not like it doesn't appear like Ace's death impacted Luffy as a character very much. Which is what I think my major problem with it comes down to. But, um. Honestly, what I want to know is why do you guys think Ace is still so popular? I think it's just because he's really, really, really cool. And at this point, like, I haven't met anybody that doesn't like Ace. So, I just, that's just my theory. I think, it, I think it's a cool factor. Like, People really like Ace. His death was really stunning. He, he was also one of the only characters to die. And it's also meant Whitebeard was. We knew Ace a little bit better. And he had an attachment to Luffy. So I'm just going to assume that was the reason this problem existed. But I could be wrong, guys. I don't know. I really don't. 
Well, you guys enjoyed this video. By the way, 40, let's talk about video for anybody who watched this whole thing. This is what's gonna happen, alright? This is what is going to happen. I'm going to do one of these every month. I'm the first of every month. Very easy deadline to meet because I'm going to record like three of these and get myself a lead. The problem with these is I need to sit in front of the webcam for like 20 minutes. I need to get the wiki pulled up and it's it really hard to find like 20 minutes to just sit in front of the webcam like this and just talk. A lot of my videos are editing which in chunks. Like I'll record 15 minutes here, 15 minutes here. But that's not the point. The point is, is that uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Also, um, on Monday or Tuesday, I should have a video going up about a virtual video going up that you guys can look forward to. Hope you guys enjoy. Tell me what Naruto or One Piece character you want me to talk about next. It's a toss up between Naruto, Sasuke, or Serata. I'm probably going to do Serata next because her arc in Boruto is about to end. And eventually, once Whole Cake Island ends, I'm going to do Sanji. I have a lot of great characters I want to talk about. And uh, yeah, that will be fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Tell me what you guys think. Is this still popular? I can't figure it out. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like the video if you did. Subscribe for more videos. One Piece Nation, signing out.